Now I'm going to show you how to evaluate a composition of functions from a graph. So we have two functions here, f and g, and we have the pictures of the functions. We don't necessarily have the equations, although we can see that this is an absolute value function and um, it's y equals the absolute value of x because the point here is at the origin. And then we can see this is a linear function where you have slope of 1 and y-intercept of 0, negative 3. So, but I'm not going to use the equations to evaluate these because I want to show you another way of doing it. So here are the examples. In example 1, f of g of 1. I want to evaluate that. So I take the input of 1 and first I'm going to put it into the g function. So here I identify the x value of 1 and then I take a vertical path to the function itself, the graph of the function, and I see that the y value corresponding to the point of intersection with the function and my vertical line at 1 is negative 2. So now this becomes f of negative 2. Negative 2 is the output for my g function. It becomes the input for f. So now to evaluate f of negative 2, I find negative 2 on the x-axis and take my vertical path to the function and here at this point the output is 2. The, the value, the y value corresponding with this point is 2. So f of g of 1 equals 2. Now in example 2 I'm putting in a negative 1 into my f function. So here's negative 1 taking the vertical path to the function f, I see we're at a height of 1. So this f of negative 1 is 1, and so I replace this inside part of g with f of negative 1. That's 1. Now I find g of 1, and so I'm using this graph here. I go to 1, and then down to uh, the vertical line, we ha we're at negative 2. So in example 3, notice I have the notation here, g composed with f. I want to first write this using the definition, and the definition says that g composed with f is g of f of 1. Okay, now we can go ahead and find f of 1. f of 1 is 1 because when I plug in 1 and take a vertical path and then a horizontal path to the y-axis, I'm at 1. So this becomes g of 1. And g of 1 is negative 2. Taking um, at 1, taking that vertical path to the function, and then the horizontal path to the y-axis, I'm at negative 2. f composed with g of negative 1 is defined as f of g of negative 1. So I start with the inside function. I'm evaluating it g at negative 1. And that takes me down the vertical path to the function and then the horizontal path to the y-axis takes me to negative 4. So this is f of negative 4. And then plugging in negative 4 into f, taking the vertical path and then the horizontal path, we're at 4. So that is how you evaluate a composition of two functions.